Systematic Sampling Using Transects by kscience.com. We're going to investigate the effect of light intensity on the distribution of plants away from the tree. So you firstly lay the belt transect away from the tree. The belt transect in this case is a measuring tape. You now lay the quadrat at the first point on the belt transect at zero meters away from where you are measuring. You now measure your abiotic factor, in this case light intensity. So we've got a light intensity of 10 and we count the number of flowers inside the quadrat at this point. In this case, there are eight flowers. You then lay your quadrat at regular intervals. You now lay the quadrat one meter away. You then measure the abiotic factor, which is light intensity. In this case, we have a light intensity of 20. Then count the total number of flowers in the quadrat. In this case, there are 15 flowers. You now lay the quadrat one meter away and count the flowers and measure the light intensity. We are now further away from the tree, so the light intensity is higher and it is 40. You then count the number of flowers. In this quadrat, there are 29 flowers. You then lay the quadrat for a final time. In this case, the light intensity is 42 and there are 30 flowers. You can then make a conclusion based on your results. So for hours, as the light intensity increased away from the tree, the abundance of flowers in each quadrat also increased. So that means as you increase sunlight, you increase the abundance of flowers. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So the method for using a belt transect, which is systematic sampling, is as follows. You lay the belt transect, which is a measuring tape. Then you systematically place the quadrat every two meters. It doesn't have to be every two meters, just in this example I've done that. It has to be a regular interval. You then measure the abiotic factor. In this case, it was light intensity. Then count the number of organisms in each quadrat. You record the abundance in the quadrat, so you count the number of organisms in the quadrat. You then lay the quadrat at regular intervals along the belt transect. In our case, it was every two meters. You can then make a conclusion based on your results. So for hours, as the light intensity increased away from the tree, the abundance of flowers in each quadrat also increased. So that means as you increase sunlight, you increase the abundance of flowers. And it's very important to remember there are other abiotic factors that could be affecting the abundance of flowers, such as temperature of the soil, pH of the soil, water moisture in the soil, or even the mineral content of the soil. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.